up everybody? We're here with a brand new video. Got something new for you guys. The brand new strain that Wiz Khalifa dropped in the state of Florida. Khalifa Mint. I know they've been out for a little bit, but in the state of Florida, we've only had access to KK, which is Khalifa Kush. And for the longest time ever, Wiz Khalifa has only ever had one strain. It's a strain and a brand at the same time. And now this is the second one he dropped in the state of Florida. So this is very, very nice. I'm excited to try this. I have had KK before. It's like some very strong OG. Not very terpy, not crazy on like the taste, but just a very harsh kick. OG is the fundamentals or like the introduction to gas smokes when, you, when it comes down to like real heavy and premium and strong smokes. OG is definitely right there at the frontier of that. And so these are strong smokes. They're definitely good. This is testing at about 30% THC. So that's nice to see. It's got a good consistency. I was very surprised when I opened this up. Very, very, very good nose on it. But the bud consistency is, um, it's different than you, what you would see from like Connected or from Preferred Gardens. Normally those nugs are a little bit denser and the breakdown is like, it's a very clean rip. This is, I mean, it's, it's not soft per se, but the rip itself doesn't like break apart off like a hard rock. It's kind of, it pulls apart a little bit softer, but it is very sticky and the nose is really, really crazy on it. So I'm excited to definitely try this out. I did have a bong rip of this on 420. Total it came out to $34. Um, so this was half off and honestly for $34, it's not a bad price. I would buy this all day. At 58, I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's test it out. I got a joint rolled up of it. When I rolled up the KK joint uh, in the past, it was like almost too harsh to smoke. It just wasn't even a pleasant. It's good weed, just not an enjoyable experience out of a joint. I'm looking to see if this is any different. It has a very unique taste though out of the piece. I will say that. But we're gonna start with the joint. Come on, Wiz, don't let me down. I normally don't have high expectations for influencer brands when it comes to bud. Most people just get reached out to by a grower, uh, by somebody who like has the idea of, oh, my weed would sell so much better if I just got this person's name on it. If I just got this rapper to promote my weed, it would sell so much better, which is a problem in itself because your weed should sell itself. And then if you have a rapper that like really, really is into it and wants their own specific strain, And that would be a very good collaboration, but, and that's kind of what we have with Wiz Khalifa strain. Most strains that come from influencers or celebrities are going to be a licensing deal. So they just slap their name on it and charge extra money, but it's not going to be better. Wiz Khalifa, I, I'm pretty sure KK was made by Burner for Wiz Khalifa. So it's a cookies product, or at least the genetics are. And once he started smoking the KK, he was like, I want that strain for myself. I want this to be my strain, I want to put my name on it, and this is pretty much all I want to smoke. So if you're going to make an influencer brand and really put your name behind it and only smoke your strain, then I'll, I'll be down to try it. But if you're just slapping a label on top of it and putting your name on it and charging us extra money, I am really not interested in your influencer brand at all. But this is super smooth. Not like the KK. This is actually really, really smooth. It's got a gassy kick but just a very, 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 very smooth, almost like minty, menthol <coughs> I don't even like cigarettes, but this is like, <coughs> what I would imagine, like, <coughs> like somebody who really, really, really likes a cigarette and hasn't had one for a while, like the smoothness of that, this is what I would imagine that would taste like. Yeah, it's got this like very, very minty aftertaste with a gas kick. <coughs> it's a very gassy strain, but this is not overpowering. It's smooth. <coughs> you can see the resin lines building up already. I just lit the joint and you can see the resin lines right there. <coughs> and this is also like a 0.6. This isn't a fat joint. It's a very small joint. That's smooth. I like that one. <coughs> okay, and then we're gonna rip it out the piece. <coughs> and 
It is way too early for this. It's like 7.45 in the morning. <coughs> yeah, normally I don't cough this much with a joint. But again, it's not overpowering harsh. Like most OGs are for me. So I, I actually really like this one. got such a unique flavor, I can't even really describe it perfectly, but it is very <coughs> <coughs> minty. Um, <coughs> that was stronger than I expected out the piece. <coughs> and you can feel the effects immediately. Good ahead head high. <coughs> I mean, it gets harder to speak as you go on. Would I buy it again for $58? Probably not. Uh, for $34 though, <coughs> the 40% off discount, <coughs> yeah, I'd buy this again. Be something fun, like for $34, you bring this to your friend's house, you let everybody smoke Wiz Khalifa's new strain of weed. That's not bad. For $58, I think in the state of Florida, we just have better options. This doesn't. <coughs> I don't think it smokes as gassy as preferred. Definitely tastes better. It's a little terpier than preferred gardens. Um, <clears throat> but for two more dollars, connected in Alien Labs blows this out of the water. It's good, bud, but I honestly think this should be like a $45 nug, <coughs> not 58. And there is a huge difference in that price point because what you can get for two extra dollars in the state of Florida is probably like five times better. This was the first jar of this I ever copped. Um, I like the nug size and the nug structures. Testing at 30% DHC, so it's testing it pretty high. It's tasting pretty decent, but I just the terp isn't for me. When it comes to premium cannabis, you're really gonna just it's gonna be a matter of preference at that point what you like. And there's just terpier buds for me. I get I definitely see the KK influence in this. Wiz obviously doesn't like a too candy-like or too cakey or too fruity of a bud. He just wants a really harsh smoke and I respect that. This bud, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. Definitely a solid cop, definitely gas, definitely some fucking ends. But yeah, that's my review of the new strain from Wiz Khalifa, the Khalifa Mints. <coughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. We've got a bunch of new content coming your way, so stay tuned.